do subscribe to ekda channel and press bell icon to get updates of structural analysis too today we are seeing basic fundamentals of structural analysis in that we are seeing degree of indeterminacy static and kinematic concepts and introduction hello friends let's start with the another subject this name as structural analysis 2 in that first we are seeing a basic fundamentals of structural analysis in that today we are seeing a degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy introduction and their concept so let's see in details now see this is a this one is name as basic fundamentals of structural analysis in that today we are seeing a degree of static and kinematic indeterminacy introductions and concepts now first of all we see that degree of indeterminacy why we are finding the degree of indeterminacy because we have to know whether the structure is stable or unstable we are finding the degree of indeterminacy to find whether the structure is stable or structure is unstable now after that let's move on to further the further will be types of indeterminacy there are two types of indeterminacy the first one will be degree of static indeterminacy this name as ds and degree of kinematic indeterminacy is name as dk okay after that let's move on to further now see what is degree of static indeterminacy in degree of static indeterminacy we will see a two types two, sorry two parts internal static indeterminacy means it is a degree of internal static indeterminacy is nothing but dse plus ex external static indeterminacy dsi okay this both are addition of these two will get degree of static indeterminacy now second one will be degree of kinematic indeterminacy now let's see what is kinematic indeterminacy it is defined as the number of non zero it is defined as the number of non zero joints displacement of the structure this point is very important displacement of the structure on every joints we will see in kinematics it also called as degree of freedom is also called as nothing but degree of freedom after that i have made one formulas to get better understands degree of indeterminacy important formulates you will follow this formulas to find ds and dk ds is nothing but degree of static indeterminacy dk is nothing but degree of kinematic indeterminacy now we will deal with three types of problem in this chapter the first one will be beam and the third second one will be frame and the third one will be truss in static we in static determinacy we will see dse and dsi dse is nothing but this is external and dsi is nothing but internal and kinematic we will deals with dk okay now in dse in beam we have a formula of dse is nothing but r minus 3 r minus 3 this 3 is nothing but this it is a condition of equilibrium it is nothing but it is a condition of equilibrium means summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 and moment equal to 0 and this is nothing but number of unknowns okay now in frames formula will be of ds will be same r minus 3 in truss formula will be same r minus 3 in dse now in dsi the beam dsi will be 0 in frame dsi will be 3 into c c is nothing but closed loop in truss formula will be m minus 2j minus 3 now in kinematics we will deal with 3j minus r this is also 3j minus r this is 2j minus r we will not follow this two because we have in question we have given the neglect the axial deformation and this formula is very important to us we have to use only this three formulas and this one we cannot use this two formulas okay we will solve directly dk in the problem only i will explain you how we will solve the dk means ds is nothing but dse plus dsi and dk we can solve directly in the problems now let's see degree of kinematic indeterminacy dk in fixed there is no in fixed there is no dk okay means degree of kinematic indeterminacy will be zero now in hinge support it is one because it is one rotation which it is in hinge it is one rotation that is dk will be one in roller if we are using with axial deformation dk will be two 
without axial deformation dk will be neglecting axial deformation dk will be 1 in roller also always we can use the 1 okay means in hinge also 1 in roller also we get 1 now see when internal hinge is there see internal hinge internal hinge will be joined two parts member this part and this member means our dk will be 2 this is 1 and this is 2 if internal hinge we will at center means three points are there three members are there one two and three so in that case this is one dk this is second dk and this is your third dk now in free end this is your first dk and this is second dk in free end we can use one or two dk's now after that let's see the full forms of all the members now see this r is nothing but number of unknown reactions components r will be small r will be or this three we are written available conditions of equation summation fx equal to zero summation fy equal to zero and moment equal to zero plus additional equation due to internal hinge or link if we are using an internal hinge at that time we can use the additional equation what is that additional equation we can see in the problems of link if any m will be number of member j will be number of joints and c will be number of closed loop to better understand we can see with the problem i hope you understand my video don't forget to subscribe the ekida channel and share with your friends thank you